In this episode of Spiral Uncovered, we present extra footage from our investigation at the Spotted Dog Inn. Well, here we are at the Spotted Dog Inn. How are you finding it so far? Are we ready? Yeah. The bar's lovely. I don't know how many people have got that. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Isn't it? Completely, you can't see it in the daytime because you see the world of Kent outside well, the bar. Oh, it's came in. Yeah. That was nice. That's cool. Well, we're happy to have you here, Spiral. Spiral, do the Spotted Dog. <laughs> I've been sitting here thinking to myself, you've got to touch me, come through, come through, tap on the table, do whatever you've got to do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I gave up, I thought, okay, give up. All of a sudden, three touches, here, here, in here, straight on my face, and it's quite heavy touches. It's nice. Okay, so Mandy took a photo of me sitting here with a flash on the camera, and it took absolutely five. So I told her to take a photo in the chimney, and the flash failed. She took a couple, the flash still failed. We're sitting here and some sort of just dropped through the chimney. It's probably nothing, it's probably just the wind because it's quite bad. But it was big. Mm. Yeah. This bit there is nothing above us apart from garages or sheds, whatever you want to call them. Right, okay. That's all that's above this bit here. Uh, when you get to the wine store bit, which I'll show you in a moment, that then has the shop above it, which used to be. An old post office then became staff living accommodation, then became um, the shop as you see it now. You've got full access to somewhere, yeah. and you pick up more of a story because yeah. it all starts to link in. That's it, I mean, the only place you won't get access to is the shop because that's nothing to do with me. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we love those kind of shops. But then at the end of the day, you'll have full access. I'll open up the wine stores. I don't know how long the cellar's been here, whether it's part of the original every farm cottage had its own little cellar or not. I'm totally um, in the dark over it. But I don't seem to feel anything untoward down here. Oh, we've got to do some stuff up here. Definitely. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. Mandy? Hello. <laughs> I'm still waiting for him months later to come back and collect all his stuff. <laughs> Quite often, and it could be any time of the day whatsoever, I will cough and choke. That is. And I will cough and choke, mm. and it'll always make me sick or mm. ill. Yeah. Well, this it's, is not. It's like a cough and a gag. Yeah, because this is suffocation. This is like something over the face and being held by the throat as well. Mm. I thought immediately it was like being strangled, you know, but mm. it's not because I've got suffocation with it. So it's not just being held, it's mm. like perhaps mm. being held with one hand and so another hand holding something over your face. Do you understand? Right, yes. Mm. That, that's really weird. I get up here. 